Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated, things that are found around the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. I'm not going to be dwelling too much at all, to be honest, on the reveals from the Hasbro Pulse stream. Braum was obviously my favourite, um, because I've obviously done a video on that already, but the only thing I am going to be talking about is these Amazon listings. And the reason for that is because I've got some more information regarding them. So we also got, well, in fact, we know from the stream that they said that it was gonna be this year's version, obviously, of the Wreckers. Last year, if you remember, we had five Wreckers uh, boxes. Some of them were two packs, some of them were individual. It looks like they're doing something exactly the same this year. And this is what the capsule listings that we've had leaked from JT Prime a bit back are actually referring to. So we know that we're getting Voyager Senator Shockwave and the deluxe figure of Orion Pax. We also know obviously about Minor Megatron and Senator Ratbat, but this is on T-Formers right now. This is the remaining packs. Um, and again, as I say, so it's pretty much just trying to find out what the figures are. The, the next one, unfortunately, we don't know at the moment. It says content unknown. We just know that it's gonna be a comic two pack. Now the next one, Generations Ecom Capsule 2 is a leader class Nova Prime. So I'm thinking or wondering maybe, um, in fact, I've got no idea. Maybe they would use the Armada um, Optimus Prime mold, who knows? I'm trying to think of a leader class figure that they could use. Any suggestions, let me know um, in the comments. And the other one, we know that we're gonna be getting this figure. It's Voyager class Nacelle, which is of course gonna be using the thrust molds just redecoed. So that's all I'm going to be discussing on them. Unless I find anything more out in another video, I will let you know. But as I say, if you want to see the Hasbro Pulse reveals, that's in a completely separate video. On with some new things, including a confirmed TF Nation guest for the UK. Maycat is going to be there, and they were responsible for the writing of Cyberverse and some of Tron, a War for Cybertron Kingdom. Confirmed guest there, which is again fantastic because at the moment we're getting an even bigger lineup, which just, again, it's just great for the UK to be getting huge, huge conventions like they get obviously in the States. Right, moving on, we've got some in-hand images of five of the core class Dinobots. So the other two, so we've got Scar and Swoop there that at the moment aren't available in the UK. Uh, but here's just a few images of them, just to whet your appetite for the figures. If you want to see these, these are taken from T-Formers. There, of course, is Volcanicus, missing, of course, Snarl, which we knew was coming anyway, but of course was confirmed again earlier, or whatever, whichever daytime it was for you when you watched it. There is Scar. I think he looks cool, to be honest. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm also quite impressed that this person's actually got an original G1 figure there to do a co comparison with. But there is, of course, Swoop, which is my favorite of the uh, new core class Dinobots to date. Right, sightings, because there's just so many again, I'm gonna hold this to the screen. I'm gonna suggest that you pause, and if you want to, you can read out your countries. Now, if you wanna read these yourself, it's on TFW 2005. Basically what it's saying, I'll read a few of them. Studio Series Wave 6 Core in Australia. Rise of the Beast Mainline Wave 1, Battle Changes and Weaponizers and all the masks have been found in Chile. Mainline ROTB Wave 1, Deluxe Titan Changes, um, all of the Air Spark Wave 1 uh, have been found in Germany. Uh, mainline Wave 1 Battle Changes and Combiners in Hungary, so basically it looks like the whole of Europe now, they've started to appear everywhere, which is great. Talking about Rise of the Beasts, and you'll be pleased now, obviously, stop putting all the TV spots because there's just too many going on. Um, and I can't do this because for copyright reasons, Porsche have put one up, which is brilliant, actually from the Porsche website. Uh, this one's basically called Meet Mirage. There's a, there's a TV spot, or I suppose a actual movie clips there, available on TFW 2005, and indeed on the Porsche YouTube and website if you want to see that. Talking again more of Rise of the Beasts, we've got the confirmed artist, Paramount Pictures France is announcing that French rapper Muxola will release the song Everything Is Transformed on May the 26th and it's set to appear on Transformers Rise of the Beasts and it's also going to be on the soundtrack. So obviously they've got a list here of all the title songs from the previous movies like Linkin Park who did the first three etc and of course Hayley Steinfeld who did the most recent ones. So it looks like MC Solar's got the official, if you want to call it that, uh, song for Rise of the Beasts. More spots, this one's called Team Up, 
Again, I'd suggest just going to Paramount YouTube uh, just to go through and see exactly how many TV spots there are now of this movie because there is so many. And as I say, I've made a conscious decision to stop putting them all on here just so I don't ruin it for absolutely everybody and myself to be fair because I think there's giving away perhaps a bit too much now for my liking. So much so with this, I'm not gonna read it all to you because it does say spoilers. So what it does say here, those junior novelizations of Rise of the Beasts bookshelves hit the bookshelves today and they are out to spoil the movie. So from the two book titles, Mission at the Museum and The Search is on, all it says, all I'm gonna read is it says there's beautiful artwork, but it does obviously as well, give away some of the plot lines in the story. So I'm not gonna read any more. If you wanna read that, head to DFW 2005, or you can read some of that on there. That is the article from it. Moving on, here we go. Deluxe Mirage in hand images. So still waiting to see Mirage in the UK. Um, here's a few figures, and I think most places, to be honest. So here's a few pictures of the figure to whet your appetites. Uh, does look very basic, let's be honest, but again, it's a mainline figure. Um, you'll see more so, especially from the side profile. Um, I still want to get it though, to be fair. I like the alternate mode, um, but you can see what I mean by about how basic it does look. There he is with Night Trap. I was going to say Night Shadow. Or is it Night Trap? It, it probably is Night Shadow. I might get a complete brain fog. I do apologise. Some other characters from the movie, shall we say. There, of course, is Studio Series Cheetor. Um, and there's some of the other mainline figures as well. And you can see how the cast of Rise of the Beast figures are indeed lining up, all starting to look really, really good. Right, third party, I've been all over the Weibo pages again. So I know we've seen loads of Brawl, but at the moment um, we've got, they're calling it, is he called Heavy Gunner or something like that? Let me get, I'll find it. Again, brain fog, do apologise. But at the moment we've got all the figure again reissued, not reissued or released sort of similar time, but with the grey foot. This is of course, to replicate the G1 toy. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's just a few more images of this fantastic little product. And again, I've done a review of the normal version of this already. There it is with the silver foot, which to be fair, I might even have to get just so I can have a brilliant homage to the original one. And again, there's loads more images on the actual Magic Square Weibo page if you wanna check it out. Now onto New Ages Weibo page. Here is, of course, the Legendary Heroes version of Viper. What I like about the packaging with this, of course, that is definitely, which we're looking at, G.I. Joe. This, of course, is a redeco of the Powerglide mold, which, of course, we've seen the white version, which, again, is a take on Bad Boy. But here is their take on Viper in all his glory. Again, I'm hoping, hoping my, my Powerglide's been in transit for ages, but, of course, I am across the pond. So hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer so I can get the review of that done for you guys. But I like the look of these and I just wanted to share these images with you. Moving on, uh, Kang Toys again. They seem that they've been updating color test samples of their mini Thorilla. So again, if you want to check them images out, check, go to Kang Toys Weibo page to see all them. And again, if you want to order any of these, please take or think about using Show Z. They really have great prices. They've got so many things for pre-order. You can do me a favor as well if you want by putting Toys R Us in the supporter reviewer code. I've caved as well. I've got to admit it since the last video, I've pre-ordered the ARC purely because you get the limited edition figure with it. I've just had to go with it. So I have pre-ordered the ARC, $2 deposit down. There is some of the other figures that you can pre-order. The New Age takes on Soundwave, Hound, um, and indeed, you know, there's some fans toy spin drifts back in on sale. This is the flash sale page. I've also ordered that Iron Factory Brawl, just big brawn, not brawl, just because again, he's heavily reduced. Um, there's so much choice on there, guys. It's definitely worth having a nose at what they've got for sale and up for pre-order. One, no, couple more things which I've found out since then. Dr. Wu, I showed the teaser that they had, no, it wasn't Dr. Wu. Yes, it was the teaser for their take on Omega Supreme. This time they're gonna tease a Galvatron project, which is a planet. This is something that's really interesting. This is the concept art pictures that we've got. That's the information I've taken from T Formers. And there's only these two images of it. That's it at the moment. As soon as I get more information, I will show you. And then we've got some Matrix Workshop Gamer Edition upgrade kits. So for the first three figures that are out 
For the gamer editions, that's your Deluxe Bumblebee Barricade and Void Optimus Prime. Matrix Workshop have came up with some additional weapons that you can buy to use on your figures. These are only the images so far, no actual in-hand ones. As soon as they actually get the physical copies, I'll obviously get the images of that and send them to you. Barricades, swords looking really menacing there. I do like the look of that, to be honest. And then finally, I've been on Fans Hobby's Facebook page as well. So we knew this was coming. I've just got a few more new images to show you. So obviously we've got the, they, it's really interesting that they went with the Super God Master Force Deco first. Buster as I was know him, Destroyer as they call him. But this is their version of Dreadwing, which is of course Fright Storm. So we've got some color test images of the robot as well as the jet, but also more importantly, what he's going to look like combined, which again is going to look spectacular. Look at all the guns there on the top. Um, as I say, I've got their take on Buster uh, pre-ordered. Can't wait to see that physically in hand. Um, as well and then funnily enough that's just what I told you at the very very beginning the rest of the list for the capsules so again so much going on there really is it's it's crazy time at the moment with all the little spin-offs etc and as well as all the third party um, just they just keep pumping out all these figures it's just really hard to keep up uh, but it's a pleasure doing this for you and keeping you guys updated and indeed you guys helping me with the support code on Showsy it really is important for this channel to build and grow as well because I don't obviously get to see you know all your personal details but i get to see what people are ordering so obviously i've got an idea if more people like new age or if more people like magic square etc etc so it just gives me again it, it's it's brilliant for me to find out where you things that you guys want me to review and show you so thank you ever so much for the support with that thank you all for just watching me you know as i say doing these videos the channel's growing just hitting won't be shy off 8k i'd like to do a target maybe go for 10k by tf nation who knows, I might start trying to promote that a little bit more. But I really do appreciate all the support. I re um, thank you very much for watching. And of course, if anything else happens in the next two days, which I deem video worthy, I will let you guys know straight away. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.